What is up, Wildlings? The Wild CEO here for a quick video. The ultimate guide to using fish oil for weight loss. Now, fish oil is a standard in my diet and my son's and Allison's and my mom's and the entire household, actually. We take it daily. We usually take it with each meal. And we are all lean, fit, healthy humans, okay? It's something you want to take always anyways as a maintenance, mostly because in our standard American diet, the industrialized food supply, we have a lot of omega-6. Uh, most of the processed foods, the cedar oils, things like that are very high in omega-6, and we're lacking in omega-3. Omega-3 is found in well-caught fish, wild game, grass-fed beef, things like that. And because those foods are usually not eaten very often in the standard American diet, and you have lots and lots of seed oils and grains and beans and lentils and these plant-based foods, which are primarily omega-6, you have this ratio that is skewed. And a lot of the research, I mean, most of the research points to that skewing causing inflammation, right? So short video on what you can do. Obviously, if you just start taking a quality fish oil, like wild fish oil, and you take that with every meal, and you're continually increasing the amount of omega-3s that you're eating and and taking supplement form, you're gonna combat the inflation, inflammation, not inflation. <laughs> you're gonna combat the inflammation. Uh, where you go from there, and obviously uh, we recommend not eating really any omega-6 if possible. I mean, you need omega-6, so I shouldn't say not eating any, but you're uh, not, eating extra omega-6 and you're trying to continually reduce the amount of omega-6 because again, we have ratios that are somewhere around 30 to 50 to one in some cases. Like for example, chicken, uh, chicken fat, for example, has almost 20, I think it's 20 to 30 to one ratio of omega-6 to omega-3. So for every one gram of chicken fat you eat, you're getting, you know, 50 to 60% of that. It, well, actually, yeah, no, <laughs> one gram you would eat 20 grams of chicken fat and you might end up with one gram of omega-3. So 20 grams would be omega-6 primarily and one would be omega-3. So that ratio is what's unnatural in nature and that causes a lot of problems. Let's get right into this, okay? So fish oil obviously is the fat that's pulled out of fatty fish. Now seafood is revered for its health benefits and things like salmon, everyone says it's so good for you, right? Because of the omega-3. And so we're going for fatty fish here sardines, mackerel, small shellfish usually have a lot of omega-3, uh, mac mackerels, you know, bigger fish, you know, things like swordfish and tuna are usually leaner and they don't have a lot of omega-3. So you want salmon. Uh, what, what's the other big one? We have, we have salmon, we have sardines. I mean, there's another big fatty fish I'm not thinking of, but you have all these white fish and then you have these fattier fish and the fattier fish are where all the nutrition is. And when somebody says seafood is good for you, it's because they're referencing uh, the, the, the omega threes, right? And of course, white fish is like lean protein, you know, so that's a thing, but we don't want to talk about that today. So when somebody's eating seafood and they think it's healthy, they're, they should be eating fatty fish. That's the key. And of course you want wild caught, not farmed because farmed has toxins and they feed it the wrong things, unnatural diet, bad news bears all around. Okay. So fish oil and the way we make our wild fish oil is we take these small fatty fish that are menhaden. Menhaden is the other one. I mean, that's what the wild fish oil is made from. And these are caught sustainably and they're so small and they replicate so fast that fishermen are able to go out and harvest them and make sure they don't overfish, right? They very closely track schools to make sure that they don't deplete the ecosystem, which is a very fascinating and awesome thing. You know, most uh, fishermen around the world and big fishing rigs and organizations, they don't do that. They don't care, right? It's all about the bottom line. But we work with a supplier out of Reedville, Virginia, that does this very, very specifically, very carefully. And that's why it's one of the only fish oils in the world that has got the, and when I say fish oil, I don't mean salmon oil. So salmon oil is its own thing. So, and also cod, that's another thing. So as far as non-salmon or non-cod fish oil, it's one of the only Friends of the Sea certified fish oils in the world, okay? Very high quality stuff. You take your small fatty fish, you process the whole body, and then you extract the oil that's left over, and then you run that through a molecular distillation process, which removes all the PCBs and uh, heavy metals and toxins because our waters are polluted. And if you eat a lot of seafood, you can get heavy metal poisoning. That happened to Tony Robbins. He was eating tons of swordfish and these really large predator fish, which consume smaller fish. And as a result, they always have much higher levels of heavy metals. And he was having severe health issues with that. So small fatty fish plus the distillation process. And you end up with this miracle omega-3 oil 
that you can take with every meal to help balance the omega-6 to omega-3. That's really everything in a nutshell, okay? So we have the article here if you want to read a little bit more into that, right? But there's like research here talking about different things, uh, you know, eye health, things like heart disease, and there's research that suggests it might help with that. Of course, we're not making a medical claim that's going to solve that or prevent that, right? We're saying that a healthy diet and nutrition with proper omega-3 supplementation might help you. I mean, it's likely to help you prevent getting modern disease, but these aren't uh, medicines and this is not medical advice, okay? You probably know though, because you've ever been to a doctor or read anything about health and nutrition, that to keep modern disease at bay, you need to lifestyle, right? Exercise, nutrition, sunlight, sleep, low stress levels, So it's all part of it. So it's weird how you can't say things medically, but if you want to reduce your chances of cancer, heart disease, or any of these bad modern diseases that nobody wants and that I won't, wouldn't wish upon anybody, you have to live a healthy lifestyle. Like that's going to be your best chance at preventing that. And you also have things like skin healthier, right? So there's a couple other reasons why fish oil could help with weight loss. Let's cover those before I let you go. So we have control your appetite, okay? So fish oil is really, really good at controlling your appetite. And, you know, that's also a mechanism of being more omega-3, which reduces inflammation and just really makes your body operate more effectively in general. We probably don't even know what the actual mechanism is, but there's a lot of things that connect and your body is a very complex organism, right? So when you improve one area of your body that might seem like it's not related, it's gonna have downstream effects to all other areas of your health. You're gonna sleep better, you're gonna stress less, you're gonna be just happier, your mood's gonna be improved, okay? So taking fish oil as a foundation is probably going to help you control your appetite and just stabilize in general, which is gonna prevent you from reaching for the snack foods or getting you know super hungry so that you go binge somewhere or you go eat a whole tub of ice cream or do things that you know you shouldn't be doing. Second benefit, to help you is to build more muscle. When you have more muscle on your body, your metabolism is faster. You use more calories for energy. You can get away with more. I'm not saying you should, but you will get away with more if you overeat or if you eat too many carbs or if you eat too many sugars. More muscle in your body, like they've said, is the single most important thing you can do to improve longevity, right? To improve health and be here for a long time. When your muscle starts wasting away as you age, the rest of your body and your immune system and everything isn't as effective. Muscles like you're bulletproof for being a healthy, thriving human that's gonna be around for a long time, okay? So you wanna build more muscle. You wanna be lifting weights a couple times a week always, you know, resistance training, even sprints and push-ups and things like that. And you want to be eating proper nutrition with lots of protein and lots of omega-3. And that's where fish oil can come in is to help you get that omega-3 up. All right. So this is just a short video, a little bit about fish oil and weight loss and also health because here at Wild, we're all about holistic approach to health, right? A fish oil supplement is not going to solve your omega-3 need. It's not going to solve your health. It's not going to do that. It's going to support a healthy diet, lifestyle, and nutrition plan. That's why at Wild Foods, we're about getting really premium ingredients and then getting that into your life as a habit. And then that habit is an anchor or a foundation to which everything else is connected. Your sleep routine, your fitness routine, your diet routine, your nutrition routine, your morning routine. Are you fasting or are you not fasting? When you have your meal, are you having your fish oil? Are you having your multi every morning, your whole food multi? Are you taking a pre-pro, et cetera? And you can find wild fish oil as well as the rest of our premium sourced wild foods ingredients over at wildfoods.co. Use code, I think it's YouTube actually. Uh, I think it's YouTube 12 or YouTube. And that'll give you 12% off your entire order. If you have any issues with that, you can shoot us an email, colin at wildfoods.co. We'll get back to you. I appreciate you watching this. I appreciate the support. And I'll see you in the next one.